go against the sacred thing that God puts into the very heart and the soil of this nation. This was sacred to God. Now is the time to act. This is exactly why I need some action from my people. How many of you are familiar with the uh, late, great uh, prophet Kim Clement? Well, his daughter is our next presenter. That's Donna Clement Petruska, joined by Amanda Grace up in the place. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand to your feet and greet Amanda Grace and Donna Clement Petruska. Look at that. I hadn't seen this before. This is so cool. It's Isaiah 61, one, and it's carved into this and exactly right. How beautiful is that? Hello, everyone. Um, you know what? I'm doing something a little bit different today. Normally, I will, would get up and present Dad's prophecies, and I am going to do that, but I'll do that this evening. Um, but Amanda Grace and I decided that we wanted to, to talk to you guys a little bit together and share something uh, that happened and also something my, my dad prophesied uh, and I, that I'm going to be reading to you. Now, I'll tell you a little backstory. So Amanda and I are friends, Amanda Grace, and uh, she's actually one of the first people I met when I first started doing Reawaken. And God pushed, almost nudged me to her, like, go to her. And I didn't know Amanda uh, um, before that, and we've become very good friends. And the other day, we were talking on the phone, and she said, well, do you want to do a, a, a segment with me? Do you want to do something together at the tour? And I said, oh, yes, of course. And we were talking about other things, and uh, we started to get into conversations about more spiritual matters and deeper things. And something came to me, which was Absalom. Who knows who Absalom was? Oh, good. Not everybody, though, but good, good. Because not everybody does know the story of King David's son, Absalom. And there's a spirit behind that. Yeah. And God revealed to me in our conversation together, Absalom. And so I thought, well, I have a prophecy database of my dad's stuff. So let me see what did dad prophesy. And uh, maybe I could play a video or something in our, in our segment for you. And I did find a prophecy. And uh, as soon as I read it, I recognized it. I remembered that we did have video of it somewhere, but I couldn't find it. And I realized that that was God's fault <laughs> because he wants me to read it to you today. You to read it, yes. I have you. to read it, uh, which made me very nervous. <laughs> and I uh, said, God, no, don't do that to me. <laughs> um, just because of the, the, the gravity, and you're gonna understand um, too when I speak to you about the mantle um, there's a responsibility that you have in the prophetic and in ministry, not just in the prophetic, but in ministry. And so this mantle that I wear, uh, I wear, it was belonged to my father and he wore it as a representation of the responsibility that he carried, answerable to God. And so I had, I really had to pray about this to make sure that I was doing the right thing because I do understand how important and sacred this kind of thing is. Um, but God wanted me to read it so that the words are heard uh, in live, not on a video. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to read you a prophecy uh, that my dad got. Is there anything you wanted to say before I do? Did you Let want it to read. Okay, good. In Jesus' name. So I'm going to read from my iPad because I'm getting older now and I don't want to wear my granny glasses and read the phone. So <laughs> I'm going to read this prophecy and I know this is a little bit unusual. I could easily have probably figured out a video, but God told me to do this, so here we go. Um, now, my dad was in Detroit, Michigan, and the date was February 22nd of 2009. And so what I'm reading now is a direct quote, is a transcription of prophecy. And um, this is what God showed him about the spirit of Absalom, which I believe to be uh, um, one of one of the enemies we face today and one of the spirits we need to take down. And so I'm asking you, as I read this, to pray with me. And, uh, and I'm asking God also right now to protect all of us 
as we engage in this moment because it's a necessary one. Mm -hmm. It's necessary in order for everyone to see. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So here we go. This is February 22nd, 2009 in Detroit, Michigan. You see, there is a spirit of Absalom that I detected as I launched out into the deep. And I began to sense the heart of David as he ran from the great palace in Jerusalem instead of standing up and facing his son Absalom. He loved him so much, he thought he would rather just get away. The same spirit exists today and it works in the world and it works in the church. It works in human flesh and carnal mind. The betrayal, the one that, sends, that, the one that says, I want to take over. There is a spirit of Absalom that is endeavoring to take away the right of the ruling authority of those whom God has anointed to replace you. Whether it be in your work or in your position, in leadership, in your home, your marriage, your family, that spirit is suddenly very prevalent. There is a prophet that will destroy it by the power of the prophetic word because once we detect that thing, we know how to hang it quickly. Now, I don't know if, how many people know it, but if you don't know Absalom, uh, the way he died was he was hung from a tree. Yep. And it wasn't, he didn't hang himself. He was riding the horse. Yep. And it, Second Samuel. And so that's, that's what he was returning to, referring to there. God wants you to understand that during this time of crisis, as they have called it, there is a tremendous opportunity. And God needs you to go beyond your sensory awareness into your spiritual awareness. God said there is a door that is open in this time of what they call crisis. There has been a door opened in heaven that no man can shut. And the Spirit of God says, if they endeavor to shut it, I give you the key to open it again. The Spirit of the Lord is here to deliver you. All throughout the earth right now, God is casting down a spirit of Absalom. God is casting down the spirit of Absalom right now, whether it's in your home or your business. They will not take over your authority and your leadership, and you will not run. Amen. You will Amen. run to God. Praise the Lord. I demand that you face this thing today because the power of the prophetic word is breaking the spirit of Absalom right now. That's why I'm doing this right now because I am re-declaring, re I am not prophesying, it didn't come from me, it came through my dad, but I am re-prophesying it almost because it's necessary in this moment, in this time, and in this season, and for some reason in this region. So, um, and I live here, so I, um, and I, I'm not finished, but I'm going to do this so I can move this up because he, he continues. He speaks of God is sending his word abroad across the seas into the Asia area. Please remember my dad was prophesying this in 2009. In Australia, there's a spirit of Absalom in Australia, Mm -hmm. And then he, he says, I command you to come down and to hang yourself. This is key. This is a key thing. Because when I was on Roger Sto Stone's show the other day, I played him a prophecy in which I had also just found it. And I played it for Roger. And uh, uh, my dad was seeing um, the enemy turning against one another and destroying themselves. Mm -hmm. And so now I've been show shown this. Now this is twice now this week I've been shown the same thing. Mm -hmm. And, and so uh, I want everyone else to know that that's there. If you just know, that's all you need. And, and, and if you can pray about it, even better. Because we are warring against principalities and powers. There are people that m make us mad, you know, Nancy Pelosi and Shifty Schiff. These are human beings who make us mad. But there are principalities and powers and spirits that are controlling these people mm -hmm. because they don't have God. And what does the enemy want, right? Yes. He wants to take over. Yes. That's the spirit of Absalom. Mm -hmm. Absalom went and he stood at the gates where his, of the kingdom when and he King judged. David. He judged. He judged. Mm -hmm. And he promised the people. He was attractive, I think, and he was promising the people all mm -hmm. these wonderful things. And don't we see that now? Don't we see that now? So I found that to be so, so incredible. And. Um, there are leaders throughout the earth, says the spirit of the living God. This is not just an American thing. Hell itself has made a plan in the hearing of bad news, and the hearing of bad news in your news media from pro prognosticators of this day and age. Many great men and great women have buckled over in fear. And so God says the spirit of Absalom has come. I will remove him from his throne. I will whisper to the people and tell them this one is not satisfying your needs. And so I think anybody 
with their eyes open. Anybody who is awake right now can recognize why, why this prophecy is important for us right now today. Um, even as Lucifer did, Lucifer did in his time. And when I, when I read this, I thought of World Economic Forum and Yuval Nova Harari and the blasphemy that comes from his mouth. But uh, even as Lucifer did way back in his time, he said, I will raise myself above the city. I will raise myself above the stars of God. I will position myself as the God of the heavens and the earth, El Elohim. I will make my place above Elohim. I will place myself above the possessor of heaven and earth. But the possessor of heaven and earth is here. And you, saints of the most high God, those redeemed and washed in the blood are the stars of God. And once again, the desire of darkness is I will exalt myself above the stars of God. And remember, you are the stars of God. This is my dad's words. This is my dad. Well, how long ago it was 2009? 14 years 14 ago. 14 years ago. Almost. Yep. Ne next month. And this actually. was on February 22nd, which mm -hmm. is also a really important date. Dad got another very important prophecy where he saw Roger Stone and he saw Donald Trump. And it was on February 22nd also, but it was 2014. Um, and so again, there's a date. And I always pay attention in prophecy to dates and locations. It's not just the words. It's, th there's so much more. God is so much more than that, than that, the way he works. And, and, and when you look back oftentimes, and I'm sure you have so much yes. experience with it, with prophecy is that uh, you'll find when and where can be key. For instance, my dad prophesied Trump's two terms in Maricopa County. He was in Scottsdale, mm -hmm. Arizona. He was in Maricopa County. It was 2007. No one ever thought of Trump being president. But he was in the right place because God knew Maricopa County was going to make some trouble. And it's been the, the biggest trouble has been from there so far. So Dad went on to prophesy more about the spirit. Um, he saw it in Australia. For the sake of time, I'm not going to read all of that. But he saw specifically Australia. He kept saying Asia and Australia and the spirit of Absalom, but he was seeing it throughout the earth. And so I'm going to read this first. America, hear the prophet that has cried for you. This is my dad. Mm -hmm. The prophet that has prayed for you, the prophet that has taken beatings and stripes for you, you will not be brought to shame. You will not be brought to shame. I have to say it. It has to go into the atmosphere, those words right now in this moment. The, the, the plans of the enemy are, are, it's gonna be like Absalom. They will implode upon themselves. Yes. I'm declaring it. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. So, this that is happening with your economy oh, is not a necessarily demonic, but could be a dynamic. God is making sure that you are pushed against the wall so the resilient America can come back quickly and recover quickly. Praise the Lord. Your, recover will, your recovery will not be slow, it will be swift. And even if there are losses, they are God's tosses. And I'm gonna say it again, because my dad said it twice that day. I can hear him in my head saying it. He said, if they are losses, they're God's tosses. So you know what, if you've lost something and you're, you're, you're sad over it and you feel like I'm never going to, God's got something better for you. That's what, that's what he was showing my dad then. That's what I'm supposed to say here now today on this platform. And so he also spoke about Elijah and when the, when the brook dried up and the ravens were no longer feeding him, God sent him to a mountain. I'm telling you this because this is where we are right now, okay? We're standing at that mountain, and we have been pressed against the wall, and mm -hmm. one of them, because we know we've got Jezebel, and we know Baal, and, Mal and all these, you hear all these spirits, but God has showed me Absalom to share with you today, and what I want to do is have Amanda Grace pray, but before I do it, I have to do something else that God told me to do, which is to put one of my dad's mantles on her myself. So this was his. This was my dad's. And I have a, a box that were just his personal mantles and I keep them all together in this little decorative box. And God sent me, and I don't do this often, I've only done this for a few people, but he very, very specifically said, read that, and then put this on Amanda. And purple is important because Royalty is all he told me. 
And so I am putting this on you as a representation, not only, Amanda, of the anointing and the responsibility that's on you, but also the next level that you're going to, because God's going to start to show you more than he's ever shown you before. And I had to do this today. It had to be me. And he told me to give you one too, Chris. And this was also my dad's, because the two of you are together, and you've been put on this together, this journey. We're going to take a little moment because we're friends, and this is an emotional moment for us. But God has chosen all of us for this moment. And it's, it's, it's a, you know, it can be so difficult sometimes. But we were chosen to be the people that are here. If you're here and if you're watching, if you're hearing it, you were meant to. God wanted you to hear it. If you're watching over the airwaves, maybe you're not watching live. Maybe, maybe it's a week later. Maybe someone's watching in a week. God wants you to hear this. He wants you to see this. He wants you to understand the enemy that you face so that you know how to fight it. You know who you are fighting and what you are fighting. But also the people around you, that they are the, the correct people. And God has really give it a, a, us, us a gift in Amanda Grace. And so I want, you, can you pray? Okay. okay, so I'm gonna give this to Amanda now because I did my, what God told me to do. And so now Amanda is going to pray and I'm gonna be in agreement with you, of course, Amen. against the spirit of Absalom. I give all glory to God. And I thank Donna for being obedient to the Lord. And the spirit of Absalom wants to take what doesn't belong to it, what it wasn't anointed to do, and what it shouldn't have. It wants things it shouldn't have, basically. It wants leadership roles it shouldn't have. It wants territory it shouldn't have. It wants responsibility it is too immature to have. So we're going to pray and we're going to ask the Lord to issue, to issue judgment against this spirit today. In America, when it comes to your lives, when it comes to America and what's going on. Okay, here we go. Praise the Lord. Stand, stand. Oh, we're going to say, yes, good idea. Stand up. If you can pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit. If you don't, just yep. raise your hands. However Thank you feel you, comfortable. We need agreement. Everybody be involved in We need everyone's faith level to come up right now. Just agree with us. This is our enemy. We're going to fight it together. Okay? So we're going to ask God to show us together. We are in unity. Two or more gathered in his name. He's in the midst of us. He's in the midst of us now. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Father God, in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ, Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, Father, we come before you. Father, we come humbly but boldly to the throne of grace, Father humbling ourselves before you this day, asking you to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness, Father. We humbly submit to you right now as we are about to bring our petition before you. Father, we acknowledge you sent your son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, to the earth, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. He was the Passover lamb. He was the sacrifice for our sins. He died at Calvary. He purchased us by the shedding of his blood, and that blood dripped onto the mercy seat and redeemed us that day. We praise you, Lord. He rose again in three days. He ascended back into heaven and victoriously took his seat at your right hand, where he rules and reigns forevermore, Father God. And we honor that before you this day, before bringing our petition before you. Father, we bring before you what's been happening in this nation and in our lives. This spirit of Absalom that wants to steal kill and destroy this spirit that is attempted to take so much that doesn't belong to it that is attempted to woo through manipulative deceptive words and tactics through flattery father we bring this before you we are asking as your people today in the name of Jesus Christ, in yes. your courts that you would issue judgment today against this spirit yes we put these words that Prophet Kim Clement spoke through you in remembrance before you. We put your word in remembrance before you. Your word is binding. And Father, you say 
that if we come before you in the name of your son Jesus Christ and ask according to your will, it shall be done. We are asking according to your will because it is not your will that this spirit steal what you have given your children, what you have anointed them to do, what you have led them to do, the positions they are being put in, the positions they have that they're being taken to greater, what it has tried to steal in this nation, how it has stood at the gate and tried to woo and indoctrinate the people. And Father, we ask today, with your right hand, you write on a scroll and issue judgment against this spirit for everything it has stolen, all the chaos it has caused, what it has destroyed, how has it tried to touch your anointed? And you hand it to your warring angels to take it into this nation, Lord, to take it into the earth and to render an account due and a wage against that spirit for what it has taken, for the death it has caused, for the thievery it has so cunningly attempted. It will not prognosticate anymore. It will not propitiate anymore. And Father, this day, we take the authority that we have through Christ Jesus and we before your yes. throne say enough. 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 That's that right. this day it go. is enough. 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 <laughs> Praise the Lord. And Lord, we just give you all the glory, honor, and praise. You are high and lifted up far above. <laughs> this power, principality, and might, that the rulers of the darkness of this world that have attempted to give this spirit its power, that they would be cut off in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That their lifelines, their channels would be cut off in the name of Jesus, and it would flee in cowardly shame for what it has done to your people in this nation. For what it has done to the children of this nation, to the economy of this nation, to the church of this nation. This day, Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, it is completely gutted and yes. removed from the church as well, for it has attempted to sit at the gates in the church. Exactly. Father, we bring this before your throne this day. We ask all of this in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the name above all names. And we give you all the glory for what you are about to do, Father God. You are the God of the impossible. You are a God of order. You are a God of law and order. We ask you to execute that this day in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 I'm going to say one more thing. One more thing to say, because I gotta go. I'm gonna be back later. I'll show you some stuff of my dad. But rejoice, America! Your Mer your your enemy is going to kill himself, mm -hmm. to hang himself. Amen. Psst. Ladies and gentlemen, this just in. We'll keep this a little secret between you and me and them and everybody. Whoa. The people that are actually at the tip of the spear, working directly with President Trump on a day-to-day -day basis to save this nation, they're all joining us on the Reawaken America tour. We have Pre President Donald J. Trump's chief of staff, Akash Patel. We've got Peter Navarro who's joined us on the tour. We have General Michael Flynn. We have Eric Trump. The people actually working at the tip of the spear with President Donald J. Trump to save America are joining us on the Reawaken America tour. Whoa. If word of this gets out, if the truth about election fraud, medical fraud, religious fraud, monetary fraud, and mainstream media gets out, it may just save the nation. The reawaken tour is coming to our place, hallelujah. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. Yeah, it's going to be lit. Wide slam open. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, on May 12th and 13th, the Reawaken America Tour is coming to Miami, Florida, and to the beautiful Trump Doral Resort and Golf Course. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the Reawaken America Tour is coming to Miami, Florida on May 12th and 13th. Get your sunscreen ready because General Flynn, Mike Lindell, Amanda Grace, Julie Green, Pastor Dave Scarlett, Dr. Judy Mikevitz, Cash Patel, and Team America are taking the Reawaken America Tour to Trump Doral on May 12th and 13th. And then we're taking the God-fearing revival starting Reawaken America Tour into Sin City. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking the God-fearing Reawaken America Tour to Las Vegas, Nevada on August 25th in 26th, General Flynn and Team America will be taking the Reawaken America Tour to Las Vegas, Nevada. And the Patriots will be staying together at Trump International Hotel, Las Vegas. Located at 2000 Fashion Show Drive, Las Vegas, Nevada. With zip code 89109 if you want to send them a letter. And yes, Alex Jones will be live and in person at the Reawaken America Tour, Las Vegas, Nevada. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, put it on your calendar. Get those tickets right now. August 25th and 26th, Eric Trump, Dr. Peter Peter McCullough, Mel Kay, Dr. Stella Emanuel, Owen Troyer, Alex Jones, Seth Holhouse, Pastor Mark Burns, Pastor Leon Benjamin. We're all taking the Reawaken America Tour to Las Vegas, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen. Las Vegas, Nevada. And that's going to be August 25th and 26th. Thus far on the Reawaken America Tour, we've featured Dr. Dave Martin, the late great Dr. Vladimir Zelenko, Charlie Kirk, Donna Clement Petruska, Sean Foyt, Karen Kingston, Chad Prather, Robert F. Kim Kennedy Jr., Dr. Alan Keyes, Mickey Willis, Roger Stone, Dr. Richard Bartlett, and hundreds of patriotic speakers that you know, including Del Bigtree, Thomas Renz, Sidney Powell, Jim Caviezel, Donald J. Trump Jr., Peter Navarro, Klaus Schwab, Yuval Noah Harari, Bill Gates, and the godless globalists have their annual meeting called the World Economic Forum at Davos. But we that reject the Great Reset have the Reawaken America Tour coming to Miami, Florida, and coming to Las Vegas. Vegas, Nevada. Get those tickets at time2freeamerica.com. That's time2freeamerica.com. We have scholarship pricing to make these events affordable for everybody. Every Reawaken America Tour event has sold out, so request those tickets today at time2freeamerica.com. That's time2freeamerica.com. Or for faster service, you can send me a personal text to 918-851-0102. It's 918-851-0102. And to be bilingually sensitive, that's 918 Juan, zero, Juan, zero, two. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the, you know the thing. We will shut you down. We will cite you. And if we need to, we will arrest you and we will take you to jail. Period. I wasn't thinking of the Bill of Rights when we did this. But no amendment, no amendment to the Constitution is absolute. God actually spoke to me. He spoke about sacredness. He said to me, Kim, what I place in many, many people is sacred. And if anybody touches what is sacred to me, then it is the end for them. So what I've done in the United States of America is sacred. And there are people on every side that are trying to destroy what I deem sacred. And it's not going to happen. This is the definition of criminal conspiracy, racketeering, and collusion. This is not a theory, this is evidence. Because I have upheld this country to spread a light to the rest of the world. When you choose to go against the sacred thing that God puts into the very heart and the soil of this nation, this was sacred to God. Now is the time to act. This is exactly why I need some action for my people. Hello, everybody. It's an honor to be with you. It, listen, I don't know what's going on. I don't even want to say president. I, I, I don't know what it is. I just know it comes out. It gives no hope, it just... And I have to say, in my memory, you were one of the most engaged and hardest working participants here at the annual meeting. Dr. Schwab, I'm flattered you'd ask me to keynote. 
You've written extensively on the topic that you've asked me to speak to. Mastering the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Mastering the Fourth Industrial Revolution. The Federal Reserve is considering a digital dollar. The implications for privacy and freedom are frightening. This is Richard Werner, the top academic scholar in the world on central banking. The nature of this CBDC, what, what is it actually going to look like? They never talk about that. Right. Um, but I heard one European central banker tell me what it's going to look like. He saw it. Um, and it was around this, this large and would be implanted under your skin. CBDC. If that happens, we're done. So you might have missed what happened Wednesday afternoon at the Fed. But they started their CBDC. Maybe we should start having the conversation of, gosh, this looks like the mark of the beast. COVID makes it, it accelerates the process of digitalization and automatization. It legitimizes the deployment of mass surveillance, and it makes surveillance go under your skin. Nobody wants to know what's in the vaccines because, look, if people understood what was in the vaccine, they'd go apeshit. And you see, the difference of this fourth uh, industrial revolution is it doesn't change what you are doing. It changes you if you take a genetic editing. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Catherine Austin Fitz, I have a question for you, ma'am. These central bank digital currencies, how do they work? So it's a digital currency and an all digital system that can be controlled centrally. So for example, we saw during COVID-19, there were rules saying you couldn't travel more than a certain amount of miles from your house, right? So there's certain behaviors you couldn't do. This is a digital system where the central bankers and in very centralized ways can make rules about what you can and cannot do with your money. And they can enforce the rules with total surveillance. If people were to read executive order 14067, um, what kind of things are they going to find within Biden's executive order 14067? So they're not going to understand what CBDCs are by reading the executive order. Okay. So I would recommend that everybody go to Solari.com. And there's a section on the homepage called Cash Every Day. And if you click on it, there are a series of videos that will explain to you in very short order. The first one is a 56 second video from Augustine Karstens, the general manager of the Bank of International Settlements in, in Basel, Switzerland, who will explain to you in 56 seconds exactly how CBDCs will work. We tend to establish the equivalence with cash, uh, and there is a huge difference there. Uh, for example, in cash, uh, we don't know, for example, who's using a $100 bill today. We don't know who is using a 1,000 peso bill today. Uh, a key difference in, with the CBDC is that central bank will have absolute control on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that uh, expression of central bank liability. And also we will have the technology to enforce that. Those, are, those two issues are extremely important and that makes a huge difference with respect to what, uh, to what cash is. How concerned are you about the collapse of the US dollar, sir? I'm very concerned. And it's more than just the US, there's, you know, there's a thing called the BRICS nations. BRICS stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. And uh, what happened in uh, 2021, I believe, when we abandoned Afghanistan, on that day, Saudi Arabia shifted allegiances from America trading in dollars, petrodollars, Saudi Arabia switched sides to China and Russia. It's the end of the, the dollar system. 
So the end is near for the U.S. dollar, and my concern is it's going to wipe out stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs. Just for my generation, the boomer generation, we're in serious trouble because the only reason our stocks, bonds, mutual funds are up is because the Fed and the Treasury just kept printing more and more money. Instead of fixing the problem from 2008, they just kept printing more money. Mm -hmm. And it's about to come to an end. So that's why when I say to people, buy gold, silver, and Bitcoin, you know, you want to stay in what I call real assets, tangible assets. That's my opinion. Most people say buy U.S. treasuries. That's Harry Dent. I wouldn't trust anything printed by the U.S. government, but that's me. I don't like anything that can be printed. Now, the, the BRICS nations, again, to repeat, for everybody who's hearing this for the first time, you might hear about the BRICS nations. That's Brazil, Russia, India, China, Africa. Those comprise roughly 41% of the Earth's population, and they are teaming up together to unseat the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency. And now you have Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Nigeria, Venezuela, Algeria, Turkey, and Argentina all teaming up to unseat the U.S. dollar as the join. world's yeah. uh, U.S. You got, you're world's you're on it, man. You're on it. You're on it. Everybody, listen to this guy. He, he knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. You have the so, macro, macro picture. Very few people have that point of view. And the great reset will be the collapse of the dollar. Inflation. 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 When demand is greater than supply, either you get shortages or you get price increases. And actually what we had was a mixture of both. We are in an inflationary spiral. 66% of people polled expect inflation to get worse. The value of the dollar since I was born has declined by 94% to six cents. We are about to face one of the greatest periods of uncertainty in American history. Organize your finances, expand your knowledge, your insight as to what it is that you have, and then start making decisions. When people go to bh-pm.com, they can schedule a free consultation. You're talking about going from the intangible into the tangible. If you can't hold it in your hand, then it's not yours. You don't own it. You can physically hold actual gold and silver. It ships fully insured directly to your home. Inflation rates are going to continue to rise. Don't wait. Don't keep putting off decisions that you know you must make. always ask, you know, what can I do to, to help fight back to save this nation? Uh, Jordan, you meet people at the Reawaken America Tour. Are, yep. are, are, are people looking for ways to get involved? Oh, yeah, all the time. All and so time. one one thing I would encourage everybody to do, if, if you're out there today and you're saying, I want to get involved, I, I want to support the Reawaken America Tour, what can I do? One thing you can do is if you will go to MyPillow.com and buy anything at all. I mean, I, you can buy whatever you want to buy. Uh, you don't have to buy my recommendations. Uh, and frankly, you know, uh, I don't buy a lot of domestic products. I mean, my, my wife, you know, buys sheets and, and towels and all these sorts of things. I, I don't do that. I, I think the last time I bought a towel was the last time I did a, a MyPillow commercial. But I would say, if you want to support the Reawaken America Tour, you just go up here to MyPillow.com and use promo code CLAY. So that's promo code CLAY, C-L-A-Y, and buy anything using promo code CLAY. And that does two things. One, it supports Mike Lindell and the great work he's doing to expose election fraud. And two, it helps the Reawaken America Tour. Because right now, if you go to timetofreeamerica.com, you can see I'm still involved in this ongoing litigation where the, the former head of security and strategy for Dominion, uh, Eric Coomer, he actually uh, is coming after me uh, personally and the tour for defamation. The, the idea is that he believes that the Reawaken America tour has hurt his reputation. Now, this is the same Eric Coomer who ran a, 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 a moving vehicle into a parked building during the middle of the day uh, while intoxicated. Wow. <laughs> um, when the bed and breakfast is from street in or something like that and took off on foot, I'm going to have eight go over there and secure the vehicle. Holy crap. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Are you Eric? Yeah. So, were you driving your truck? Uh, no, I've been here putting the order away. Okay. Who was driving your truck? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so where is your truck? Uh, it's two blocks down on the right. Okay, and you just parked it there? Yeah. Have you had anything to drink since you got here? Yeah. Um, 
I had a couple shots with the cook. Okay. Do you mind if we step out back and talk for a yeah. second? Yeah. So, walk me walk me through your route to get from where you parked there. Uh, came from my house. Came down. Um, I live up on the Mesa. Okay. So I came down. Side route. Came down uh, on Sackett. Parked over there. Okay. So, what happened in between there? Okay, I'm going to come around to the front. Um, nothing. Nothing at all. So, you didn't hit a building? No. Okay. Unfortunately, I have your truck with damage on it. Okay. Matching damage to a building down there. Okay. And witnesses saying a guy in blue plaid got out of the truck and came back here. Okay. So, you're saying that wasn't you? No. Yeah. You understand why that's hard to believe? That... Understood. Okay. But you were the only person driving your vehicle. As far as I know. Okay. And you parked it two blocks up on I the did. street there. Okay. Right. So at this uh, point, four by four pickup truck. Like we're at Fork Road. Road. This officer can take you to jail. Boy, can't God, in charge Charles. Felon misinformation along with all the traffic stuff. Okay. Or you can cut the nonsense. He cuts your ticket for the crash. And we move on. It seems goofy to me to jam yourself up with more charges when you obviously responsible for this thing is property damage. But it doesn't make any sense to me. Understood. So. Like you said, we're at a fork in the road. The choice is yours. Okay. You can talk to my attorney. Okay. Yep. Yep. Back for me. yep. He was being filmed on body cam and he lied to police about what happened. So you're saying, well, what can I do to support right now? One thing you could do, and I mean this, folks, if you can go to timetofreeamerica.com and you can click on the button here that says donate to support Clay Clark, uh, Clay Clark's fight against Eric Coomer's um, lawsuit, that would be great uh, because of the, 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 the legal fees, the ongoing legal fees for this lawsuit are almost $3,000 a day. Um, so if you could donate anything, I mean, we just had somebody donate 11 hours ago, $20, someone donated $100, any amount at all would be absolutely uh, helpful. All that money goes to just fight against that lawsuit with Eric Coomer, who's coming after myself, uh, Lindell, Mike Lindell, and other, other patriots. And then this, the second thing you could do is if you go to uh, MyPillow.com and you want to buy anything at all, um, you know, Jordan, it's, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's never too early to buy your Christmas presents, right? No, it's never too early. What's the earliest you bought your Christmas presents? Like, how was the earliest in advance that you purchased your Christmas presents? January. The, of the year. So January after December, mm -hmm. you bought almost a full year in advance? Yep. Yeah, so I encourage everybody, just go to MyPillow.com, use promo code PLAY, and buy anything. And that is an absolutely great way to support the tour. I'm very appreciative for everybody who's showing up at the Reawaken America Tour. But again, for anybody who says, Clay, how can I help the tour? How can I help you guys? Again, go to MyPillow.com, use promo code PLAY, and buy anything at all. That helps support Mike Lindell and the tour. Also, if you could donate anything at all to support uh, in our ongoing litigation versus uh, Eric Coomer, the former head of security and strategy for Dominion, who believes that the Reawaken America tour is defaming him. Uh, apparently, a lot of people don't want you to know about election fraud. Uh, well, the question is always asked. The, the, the question is always asked at the Reawaken America tour. People always ask me, what do you actually do for a living? I mean, what have you been doing since 2006? Um, Jordan, you work inside the, the Reawaken America tour. You come to the events there. Yep. And by the way, be really close to the mic so people can hear you. Um, do people ever ask you that question? Oh, yeah, all the times. So, you know, again, you know we, we help businesses grow. I mean, if, if people ask me, you know, what, what do you do for a living? I help businesses grow. Um, you know, um, the, the main thing I want people to know right now, if you're watching right now, you, you have a business and your business is, is struggling. It's maybe not doing super well. Uh, this is what we do. If you go up here to uh, thrivetimeshow.com, so we're going to go to thrivetimeshow.com and you click on testimonials, uh, you're going to see over 2,000 video testimonials from real people just like you who we've helped to grow their businesses. So this is an example. The Flyover Conservatives, we helped them to grow their brand by 16,000% 
in the last 12 months. Uh, we've helped uh, Shaw Homes to grow from a $24 million company to nearly a $200 million company. And we've helped this company, Electric City, to grow dramatically, the Delrict organization to grow dramatically, uh, the, the Green Line Plumbing Company. This is what we do. So if you're out there today and you say, I have a business and I need to grow my business, or I want to start a business and I don't know how to do that, I encourage you to go to thrivetimeshow.com Click on the testimonials button, and when you click on the testimonials button, um, you can see, I mean, literally, I've, I've worked with thousands of clients since 2006. Uh, I, was, I grew up very poor and uh, wanted to be not poor, and so uh, I started my quest to not being poor at the age of 15, and I built America's largest uh, D DJ or disc jockey entertainment company, which I sold around 2007 called DJConnection.com. I no longer have any connection to that business, but I own a, a haircut chain called Elephant in the Room. It's E-I-T-R Lounge.com. It's a haircut chain. Um, I also am a part owner of a dog training franchise for anybody out there that wants to uh, learn how to own your own business by becoming a dog trainer. We, we do that. Um, also, I coach with wonderful clients and help them grow like flowphotos.com, like pmhokc.com. Jordan, I mean, you're here every day. Wh why do you believe that the clients that we work with grow? Uh, because we keep them on task and do everything they have to do to grow, whether it's more reviews, whether it's Hiring, firing, whatever it is they need to do, we make sure they do it so right. they can improve. So if you're out there today and you're looking for a, a, a proven uh, business system, a step-by-step, -step, almost like bowling with uh, bumpers where you can't possibly lose, you want a proven path to grow your small business, just go to thrivetimeshow.com and you click here on uh, conferences. You can learn about attending one of our conferences. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one consulting, you just click here on business business growth consulting. You can schedule a free consultation with myself. And if you want to uh, learn about how we've been doing it since 2006, you want to see proof. And then the question is, well, how much do you guys charge? Um, I have always, this is my, my, my process, I charge a flat rate. So we charge $1,700 a month, one seven zero zero per month to, uh, to teach you the specific moves you need to know to grow your business. And that includes videography, photography, web development, search engine optimization, everything that you need to know to grow your business. But then we ha actually help you implement those proven systems. And my partner, uh, Dr. Robert Zellner, between he and I, we've built uh, now, now it's 14 multi-million dollar companies. And I encourage you to check out that story and to see that proven success, that a history of success at thrivetimeshow.com. Again, so if you're looking to attend a business conference, we can do it. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one business consulting, we can do it. We, we charge you less money than it would cost you to hire a, a minimum wage employee. And then we teach you the specific steps you need to know to grow your business. We meet you each and every week to, to teach you the systems, to hold you to, accountable, to help you implement those processes. And then we include photography, videography, web development, search engine optimization, uh, workflow design, uh, public relations. We include here executive coaching, how to manage your team. We tra help you track your leads, how to launch your online ads, how to do photography, videography, sales training. I mean, everything you need to know to start or grow a business, we do that for you. And it also starts at thrivetimeshow.com. Jordan, uh, you're meeting some great people at the Reawaken America Tour. What kind of person out there would be a great fit uh, to, to become a, a client of ours and who would not be? Because we only, we only take on 160 clients at any given time. Right. So anyone that really wants to be pushed, uh, anyone that wants to grow, truly wants to grow, because if you don't, you're not going to do what it takes, uh, whether it's more reviews, whether it's video, whether whatever you need to do, uh, it's just, it, it's how far you're willing to be pushed. And it's a month to month program. So I don't want to waste your month or my month. Uh, most of our clients stick around for almost a decade. But again, uh, we, don't, we only want to work with diligent doers, people that are willing to put in the effort to grow their business. And if you want to learn more about those business workshops or the one-on-one -on -one coaching, go to thrivetimeshow.com and schedule your free consultation today. My name is Clay Clark. This is Jordan. <laughs>
you click here, you figure out, do you want a shirt? Uh, right here, boom, you get the Fauci, Fauci line, people died, pick a side shirt. You got the Reawaken America, you got the Thrive Time Show. It's all right there. Uh, or you can click on a book, you can get Fear Unmasked, you can get Now I See, The Art of Getting Things Done, Start Here, etc. And then what happens is after you buy it, um, then Angela over here, uh, she gets the order, right, right, Angela? And we have, we, we fairly certain she's not in people. We, we don't mm. know. Um, but so then the book, the order comes in, and then I'm going to sign the book for you. So I'll, I'll devalue the book. So I'll do the, the, the you, you bring them over here, and I sign them. We sell like four or five a day. Or maybe three a day. And then she, where do you go to mail these things? She goes to UPS. So if you're out there, we work for FedEx. We're, we're sorry, but we just we go to UPS. Okay. So again, and then I'll sign it here for you. So again, if you want to get the swag gear, step one, you go to uh, timetofreeamerica.com. You, uh, you you buy the stuff. You go here, timetofreeamerica.com. Once you go here, you click. We're gonna, let's do it again. Go to timetofreeamerica.com. Okay, we're there. Timetofreeamerica.com. I'm going there for the first time. I click. I go to shop. Right there. Shop. Boom. Then it pulls up various interweb things are occurring right now. Then I figure out what I want to buy. I want to buy it. I will personally sign it and send it to you. Now, Jordan, I'm sure there's a certain percentage of the population that would like for me to uh, sell them the book but promise not to sign it. Yeah. That's also something I do. It is. I would be happy to personally not sign a book for you if that's what you want. So if you, if you want to buy a book, to learn, we're going to learn about the, uh, the Great Reawakening versus the Great Reset, but you're saying, please don't sign it. Please do not devalue the paper in that way. We'd be happy to not sign that. Uh, Jordan, would you be happy to sign books if people want you to sign a book? I will sign if you want me to sign. Beautiful. My name's Clay Clark. That's Jordan. Get those books. Get that swag. Get that apparel. Get all that Reawakening American gear at time2freeamerica.com. So we have that ready, so let's get together, let's do a fantastic painting. I'm going to start off today with a, with a small amount of phthalo blue. And we'll just take and pull a little bit out and then tap the brush. That assures a nice even distribution of color all the way through the brush. Just tap it. Just tap like so. Just go ahead up here. 